you know, obviously Kentucky's playing really well. Uh, when you look at them, I mean, you know, what, what, what I'm impressed by is the improvement of Richards quickly. You know, obviously they played behind two, two or three really, really good players last year. Now they're getting their opportunity. And, you know, Richards has been kind of well documented how well he's playing. Quickly is kind of the unsung guy that's leading their team in scoring and league play. They play with three point guards, their team speed, how fast they are. When you play it rough, obviously the biggest thing is, is getting back defensively, uh, points off turnovers. And what they've done, they lead our league in defensive field goal percentage, offensive field goal percentage. They've taken the least amount of threes, but they shoot the best percentage from three. So it tells you that's good coaching. They're taking really good shots, get a lot of paint touches, and go the free throw line a ton. So, so it's a team that's playing probably its best basketball that's played all year. How do you prepare a team of a bunch of young guys that have never been to a place like Rupp just to go into that environment? Yeah, you know, I, I just don't – we don't talk a lot about it. I mean, if, if, if you're a basketball uh, player that's grown up, you've seen Rupp Arena, you've seen it on TV. You know, we've experienced it. Obviously, I have as a, as a player and a coach, and uh, uh, it's a fabulous place to play. But we don't really talk about it. We just talk about trying to stay true to what we've been doing. And if we're trying to repeat kind of how we've played, you know, the process that we've gone through with practice and uh, preparing and uh, – you know, you hope those guys right in will, you know, this going to be a great environment on Saturday like it always is at Rupp. But, uh, you know, we, we got to stay true to who we are. You guys have played Reggie Perry and before that, I know Blackshear is a little different, but does it help playing, you know, two kind of front court presences like that going into a game against Nick Richards? Yeah, it does. You know, they're, they're different. They're different. I mean, Reggie Perry is outstanding. Blackshear in his way is outstanding. Uh, Richards is kind of a different – he is a true center. I mean, he is a true center, and uh, he's as athletic as any center in college basketball. You know, it's one of those that they do such a great job of penetrating, and you got to stay connected to Richards because you don't. They throw the airspace lobs, and he plays over the top of you. He's so good as an offensive rebounder from the weak side. But what he's done, he's become a really refined low post scorer, and now he's making 15-foot shots. So it, it helps, but uh, but he but he's he's a different kind of. Uh, of guy that you got to cover because of his length and athleticism. I know none of these guys were going to say it as you guys were going through that losing stretch, but is the locker room any different now after stringing together a couple wins than it was at the start? Of the yeah, time? well, there's nothing like happy locker rooms and winning. I mean, they just didn't. I mean, I think you've probably heard me say it. You know, you can go to college on any campus as a basketball player, and you, you can meet your future wife. You can meet some fraternity buddies, have a great time, get a great degree. But you can only have fun if you're a college basketball player if you win games. I mean, it's just that's as simple as that. And so by saying that, these guys are having fun because they've won. And, uh, and they've experienced winning. We were 9-3 and three at one time. Uh, but our practice is the same. I mean, our practices have been good. Uh, we're maturing a little bit more. And I think just winning breeds confidence. You know, not only with the guys that have scored, but with other guys. So I think there is a more confident locker room just because of winning. The way you guys have played leading up to this game, obviously just from a sheer numbers perspective, the postseason conversation really changes if you guys are able to pull off a win there. Do you feel like your group senses that? Do you all discuss that at all? Yeah, I just think that we you have to recognize – unbelievable opportunities, tough, tough challenges, but great opportunities. And that's what great leagues like the SEC present. So it is. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity for our team, uh, quadrant one opportunity on the road against a team that obviously can win our championship and be a Final Four team and win a national championship. So, so yeah, we, we know how tough it is. But, yeah, I think our guys are looking forward to the opportunity. We didn't talk a lot post-game last week about Devontae's second half and – Pretty much, I think it was like 15 points from that three to and a half through the end. Does a stretch like that kind of help get him going? Yeah, he, you know, Brian gave him a great pass, made a great corner three, and, you know, Brian's performance of 40, it'll outshadow everything, you know, and so, and rightfully so. But, but I, I texted Devontae that night and I told him how proud I was of him because he, he played really, really well. And he's kind of been that way for the last couple of weeks. And uh, you're right, he was an unsung guy. He was a big part of that second half. And he, he played great for about the last, well, really, really about the whole game. But offensively, you're right, in the half and really, really good second half. For you, second year in the SEC, you guys withstood a four game losing seat last year, made the tournament. You write the ship after a six game. Has this taught you anything just about not getting too high or too low in this league? Yeah, tough. you know, I, I think it comes from experience and coaching. 
I've been through it. I mean, I have. I've, I've, I can draw back on experiences of, of at Middle Tennessee and, you know, starting the rebuild there or just trying to set your own culture. And, and I think that, you know, you'd go through some tough times and, and you write the ship at the end and you just got to stay true to yourself. And, you know, you got to trust coaching. You got to trust yourself. And, uh, and the biggest thing, like I said, is just when you sit in front of that, those group of guys in your locker room, what is their body language? And when you see that, that's what gives you hope or you know that you're in trouble. And, and the whole time, I knew our guys were in tune to what we were doing. And uh, we weren't there yet, but I knew we had a chance if we just keep improving. And, uh, and, and, and you said it. And the big thing to get Devontae and Brian to really start playing at the same time. And when they do, our, our team really changes.